bindings in our body. That's the wiring for the computer to all the body, to control the body. The brain needs to be able to send messages out to certain nerves for you to do certain things. And so the brain is a computer, and I believe that what we call God is some kind of a, for a lack of a better term, some sort of a Wi-Fi unit. You can have a hundred different computers in a room and they're all on a one Wi-Fi unit, which means all 100 computers can be doing 100 different things, tuning into different different places and doing different things. And they're all getting it from one source from a Wi-Fi unit. And so something is guiding our destiny. Something out there is guiding our thinking. And if you've ever seen a flock of birds, large, large flocks of birds with thousands of birds, and you see them all flying in one direction and then instantly, in, a, in an absolute one second instant, they all turn, all the birds turn and go a different way. And they all then flip back and turn and go a different way. How come all of the birds knew to turn at that very one second point and they all turn and went a different way together, like the fish do. We call it schools of fish. And I've seen it where the fish are thousands of fish, and they're all sailing along together and instantly. All of a sudden, they all go in a different direction. How is that possible? One incredible story about how the brain communicates with the heavens, and the heavens communicate with you. And we know that the planets and the sun and the moon affect your brain. And the planets all have a resonant frequency, and each one of those planets, when you were born, affected your mind. When you were born, you came out of your mother into the world, and the sun has a profound electrical feel on the earth that is causing incredible stuff to happen. Our weather, the moon affects people. It affects the female. It affects her uh, her periods uh, once a month. is caused by the moon. The moon pulls the oceans of the world. We know that the moon affects the oceans. Why? Because they're water. And the moon affects water. This is why your body is like 76% water. So how does the moon affect you at the full moon? Well, it causes you to get silly and crazy, sometimes really crazy. So we call you a lunatic. Why? Because the moon is affecting your blood. It's affecting your brain. The vibrations in your mind are being affected by the sun, the moon, Mars, Jupiter. And so women are from Venus and men are from Mars, meaning our minds operate differently because of the way we are born and, and who we are and the vibrations in the brain. It's a very big subject about inspiration. And, and the inspiration comes from out there. When Nikola Tesla was in his late 80s, very old man, he was given a big awards dinner in New York where the world was thanking him for all the incredible things that he had given to the world. And uh, and he said, Nikola Tesla spoke to the audience, and he said, I have to tell you how I got my ideas to do what I've done. He said, every evening before bed, I will put a, a, a notepad on the little table next to my bed with a pen or a pencil. And he said, and every morning when I wake up, there's a written invention on the pad. Somebody comes into my room at night and writes down an invention. And and the next morning I get up and it's all written out for me. And so I just go to my laboratory and follow the instructions and I invented radio. I invented uh, alternating current, or I made this invention or that invention. And today, Nikola Tesla has lit the world and given us radio and, and all kinds of wonderful things this man gave to the world. But he said he was inspired by someone writing it down when he was sleeping. And so that's inspiration. To inspire comes from the word spire, like perspire inspire and so 
Spire is to breathe together. Breathing is spire. And so someone was breathing into him their ideas and coming from somewhere else. So that was one point I wanted to make about inspiration is it doesn't necessarily come from you. It comes from out there.